going to do it one more time. <laughs> okay, lid. Hi, my name is Brooke and today I'm going to be showing you how to take a live cast of somebody's face using Algenay. So this is a cost effective and beginner friendly casting material that's great for making one use moulds. If you need a mould that can be casted multiple times, I'd recommend using Lifeform and Skin Safe Silicon. Um, don't forget to wear something pretty dirty and not love because you might get a little bit mucky. Okay. So here's everything I'm going to be using in this tutorial in this snazzy pan over. <laughs> um, and I've explained all these products further in the info box of the video, uh, just alongside like where you can buy them and stuff too. So we're going to be using Mod Rock to reinforce our cast, a swim cap to protect the hair, mixing sticks, scissors, alginate which is going to get our impression of the model's face, cups for mixing, scrim to help the casting material stick to the Mod Rock, Vaseline as a barrier cream is going to protect that hair, and um, a bowl of lukewarm water to dip the Mod Rock into. To activate alginate, you'll need to mix in equal parts of water, so here I'm just preparing everything for the casting process. I also tend just to leave like an extra cup of water and an extra cup of alginate nearby, just in case my ratios were slightly off. Next up, I'm just preparing the mod rock, which I fold twice then cut. I make both large and small sized pieces, so it's easier to position these around my model's face. And for the scrim, I'm just cutting pieces which are about the size of my thumb. And here's just another snazzy pan over llama veggie, um, just to show you what your setup should look like. So don't forget the live casting is dangerous, so don't cast alone. I usually work in a three with different people doing different jobs. So my friend Kai is rocking the mixing job, B's going to be watching the model's nose, and I'll be spreading the product across the face. Okay, so model preparation time. So here I'm working on the lovely Louise, and uh, we're just casting the front of her head, so I've put the hair in a low pony. I'm then going to apply the swimming cap, which is going to protect her hair. Uh, the impression, which will be left over on the cast from the swimming cap, can just be sanded down later. Or if you're going for a more accurate cast, you may want to opt to use a bold cap. Um, and then just going in with this Vaseline and protecting any of the leftover exposed hairs. Don't forget baby hairs. <laughs> um, and another good thing to do is just cover the front of the swimming cap with more Vaseline, as this will help the removal process. So now we're all set to start, so Kai's just mixing the product with the water. Uh, you want the mix to look thick but smooth, just make sure not to leave any powder or large clumps. Okay, so the pouring begins. Uh, so we're working with faster alginate, which usually sets in 2-5 to five minutes, so it's vital for us to work quickly. Obviously this is sped up though. <laughs> Um, this product is just my preference, this face cast only cover a small area, but if you are casting a larger body part, I definitely suggest a slower setting product. So I'm just smoothing this product around the face and my mixer is jumping in and helping me out in this sense too. Obviously B has the most important job because she's watching the nose so there she is just sweeping away any of that alginate from this area and ensuring that Louise can breathe. Also whatever you hear just don't use straws in the nose, I don't know why people do that, it just gives really heebie jeebies, you just definitely want your model to be able to breathe safely and junk like that's just scary and silly. Okay, so at this point we've added more layers of alginate and it's just beginning to set. Um, I usually use a total of four cups full just to ensure you get the whole impression of the face. Also, in case you know it's the Malagua, uh, me and Kai briefly switch roles there, which is fine as long as you communicate what you're doing. Um, but I wouldn't ever suggest obviously changing roles with whoever's watching the nose. Just make sure the model's safe at all times. Okay, so next up we're going with the scrim. Uh, you want to do this as fast as you can so the cast is still a little wet, which will make it sit better. And I'm just placing it roughly into the alginate skin. So B's just doing a little shuffle back out of the way and then we're starting to apply this mod rock. I uh, usually only have two people doing this stage as three can be a bit, you know, ooh, placing lots of bandage on top of the model's face. Um, also I did forget to mention earlier but we're constantly having Louise say that she's okay just by making a grunting sound or a nod. Um, remember that talking will distort the cast so Decide on a way to check that your model's all groovy at the start, maybe a hand gesture or use the same technique as we're doing. Um, also, on another note, I've included a little brief on the life casting process from the model's perspective in the info box below, so you can just let them know what you know what to expect. Because uh, it can be quite daunting having your first life cast done. Okay, so me and Kai have built up two layers of model on the face, which is about one and a half rolls in total. And we're using smaller strips to cover that nose area, but still leaving those breathing holes. And then finally we just build up an edge just around the whole face and that will help when it comes to filling your mould. Alrighty, so the cast can be removed once the mould rock is cooled, which is usually about 10 to 20 minutes. Super duper important before removing it, turn the lights off. Uh, your model's just been sat in the dark so his or her peepers need some time to adjust. So to remove, I'm just sliding up that slim cap and just slowly putting it away from the face. Should it stick to the face slightly, just have your model give the face a little wiggle and that'll help it release. 
And here's just a little view of that face cast. So as you can see, we did have a little makeup left on the face, but the cast was completely successful. Uh, so then these nose holes can be blocked up without a little clay and it's all good to be moulded. And again, I've just discussed some moulding techniques a little more in the info box. And finally, I'm just cleaning up my model here, so cleansing, toning and moisturising the skin. And then your process is complete. So thank you so much for watching and any questions for me, 